right guys, I've just turned the radio off, just come in the kitchen, I've just seen if I've got any hot water, <laughs> I forgot all about that, but oh I better check guys, I'll have to put the kettle on, I know the radiators work, but I haven't checked to see if I've got any hot water, I'm just running it off now, oh it's a bit warmer, yeah, yes I think I might have hot water for tonight, <laughs> first time for a long time, oh that's lovely, super, proper hot water from the tap. And that's a bit of a novelty for me. <laughs> right, the boys are down here, waiting to go up the garden. Uh, Snoopy came to tell me what the time was. I was answering all my messages and I forgot what the time was. Right, the boys are gone. Oh, that's lovely in here. That's a bit nippy out there, guys. <laughs> right. I'll put this over here, but I'm probably going to have to move it. As soon as the dogs come in, we're, we'll pop the, the boys to bed. There we go. I'll put my selfie stick there for a minute. I'll get the uh, sink sorted out while I'm waiting for the boys to come back. There you go. That's it, the stick's staying up for a change. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh. I feel cold now I've got up. I was so cosy in that front room. I didn't shut the door again. I sat in there with the duvet on my legs. Uh, it was lovely, it was really nice. And this dress is lovely warm. Ribbed, one of my... Um, Subscribers told me it's called ribbed, ribbed. The dress is called a ribbed dress. So there you go, I've got a ribbed dress on. Really nice, really, really comfortable. It's like a big vest, really. That's what it feels like. Really nice, so very, very warm. Uh, right, let me get this out of here. We'll get the bowl filled up. That's that one. Hello, that's Snoop. Snoop's in first, guys. Swiftly five by Sooty. Right, guys. Right, back door's locked. Right, we better just fill the bowl up and then I'll get the boys put up, put into their bed. Haven't got the muck out of the kettle tonight. There we go. Oh, this is a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier to keep boiling the kettle, but um, yeah, there's no point. But anyway, at least I know the hot water works, I know the radiators work. So I've turned it all off again now, everything's turned off. Until it turns cold again, that's when I'll turn it all back on again. Uh, but at least I know it all works. I didn't want to be the one who turns on on the coldest day of the year and find I've got no heat. And I think that would just about do, I think, guys. Put that one in there as well. Alright, there we go, we're in. Right. Are you ready, Sooty? Let me take the gloves off. Put that over there. Right. Right, sit. let's sort the boys out. I'll take some biscuits with me so we haven't got to come out again. Sooty's waiting down there for me. They soon come, as soon as I get the biscuits out, they both come. Right guys, two biscuits. Go on then, sir, off you go. You hear their claws on the floor. <laughs> One of my subscribers mentioned that the other day, he said, it sounds like Sooty's got his stilettos on. <laughs> Little claws, there you go. Right, that's the corner we want. Biscuits are on top there, don't you touch that. Right, you are good boys. Right, this one's Sooty's. Here you go, Sootosaurus. Here you go, Snoopysaurus. There you go, guys. I know, I know, good boy. Right, this one's going to need for Sooty. Right, hang on. Okay. Come on, Snoop, come on in. Good boy. That's one. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not good. <laughs> No, come on out, Snoop. I know, I know, you get so excited. No, nope, got this one. Right, there you go, Snoop. In you get then. Right, boys have got the beds. Right, here we go, nice Snoopies. Right, come on, Snoop. Here's Snoop, Snoop, Snoop. Here you go, Snoop. Right, 
boys are tucked up. There they go. They're sorted for the night. Right, night night guys, sleep tight. I'll see you boys in the morning. Last day tomorrow guys, Friday tomorrow. Yeehaw. <laughs> one of my subscribers said to me, is this an old video? That's the one I put on earlier, because I was talking about Friday Eve, which is Thursday, okay? <laughs> I know it doesn't sound right, but Friday Eve is Thursday. Uh, but I <laughs> So I sent the message back. Uh, yes, this is Thursday, Thursday evening, or as I like to call it, Friday Eve. <laughs> it's my uh, assistant service manager who calls it Friday Eve, because she wants Friday to come quicker. She thinks if she calls it Friday Eve, it makes it sound like we're getting there. Right, I've got my shout out list. If I put the selfie stick right up, and I'll put, pop the list on there like that, then we're ready for that. I'll do that in a minute. We'll get the washing up underway. I've already done the hoovering. I was trying to be efficient again, so I've done that earlier. There you go. That's it. Try and keep my paper up. Right. Uh, yes, so Friday tomorrow, last day of the week. Uh, tomorrow is the 4th. Uh, you've got a hair in my mouth, guys. There you go. Um, so, yes, yes, thank goodness for that. These weeks are absolutely flying past, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you feel the same. The years do go fast, I'm sure they do. The older you get, the faster they go, they really do fly. Um, that's not right, that stand. I've got to try and move it around just a little bit more. There you go. I'm mucking about a bit tonight. Can't quite get it right. There you go, how's that? That's better. It keeps going down as well. <laughs> yes, um, so. Somebody mentioned about a picture on my wall in the dining room behind me. You can see a couple of pictures through the doorway there. Uh, that, there's some pictures in there. When I was young, free and single, uh, I was probably a little Gary boy and I loved my cars. And I've got a picture there of a little Mini. Now the Mini is the very first car I ever had. It's a little uh, Mini 850. It cost me about 60 pounds. Uh, with a year's ticket <laughs> and I had to pay another one pound uh, one pound 60p extra because the handbrake cable broke and the person I bought it off he um, he bought the handbrake cable he didn't fit it he bought it and gave it to me but he charged me for it <laughs> but it's a lovely little car my first car ever a little mini had lots of cars um, I love my cars and I do quite well with my cars. I, I keep them for a little while. I do them up, repair them, and then I've moved them on, always making a profit and plowing that into the next car and so on. Uh, I don't think I ever made a fortune, but um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, my last car that I had prior to getting myself into a relationship was my Opal Banter. Now that was my, that was like the pinnacle of my car buying exploits at the time and I'd always wanted an Opal Manta. Um, it was an Opal Manta GTE. It was two years old when I bought it, the one I got. And um, what a cracking car. Best car I ever had, as in powerful. It was a really powerful car. In its day, compared to cars today, no. But in its day, it was a powerful car. It was a lovely car. Um, <laughs> and that was the pinnacle of my career. Um, I didn't have it that long. I think no sooner had I got it uh, than I met my, my future wife. And we used it up until we were going to get married. And I sold it. We sold. We actually had um, two cars. My, um, my wife-to-be had a car and I had my Manta. So we sold both cars. Uh, the, the money from the cars paid for the wedding and the honeymoon and also enough left over to buy another small car. So that's what we did. We sold both cars, put the money into getting married and the honeymoon and another car. And that's exactly what we did. We did a, um, a honeymoon in Europe. Um, we did a, this was the first time I took uh, my wife on a driving holiday in Europe. 
and we, we spent two weeks driving around Europe. We ended up at places like Venice. Um, it was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. We had a lovely time and we did it all in a Vauxhall Nova. If you remember what they were like, a little Vauxhall Nova. That was our joint car. So we had a little small hatchback, Vauxhall Nova. And the wife or ex-wife, when we met, she had a Mark II Escort two door and I had that Manta GTE. Um, yes, gosh, that's a few years ago now, guys. And now that Manta would be worth quite a lot of money. <laughs> They're going saying that a Mark II Escort um, two door body shell would be worth a lot of money because they are, they are a highly sought after vehicle for um, rallying. Uh, but yeah, all gone. I don't. I don't know whether it's still on the road. I suppose I could do. I could do. A, registration check on it and see if it's still out there. It might be out there, I don't know. I had some lovely cars in my time and um, I, I just tended to keep them for no more than four years was the maximum I ever kept a car. Um, I just bought them, I'd run them for a while, do them up or repair them and then move them on. And I'd, I'd always make money. I never lost money on my cars, always made money. Um, not so much now though, because now I buy a car to keep. Um, and that seems to be working quite well. I, I prefer to be in the keep at keeping side of it now. Um, I'd just rather settle down with the car and just maintain it, look after it and make it last. And I can make them last. Um, I don't like keeping cars once we get into the welding stage though. Obviously when I first started out buying like that little mini, that was as rotten as a pear, and I spent hours welding that thing up. But now I don't tend to buy rusty cars. In fact, you don't tend to see many rusty cars now. Uh, the build quality of the cars now is so much better than it was back in the 70s and 80s. And the cars do last a lot longer, but that's not what takes cars off the road now. More often than not now, the things that take cars off the road will be electrical issues. Uh, where it will need something like an ECU and they're so expensive uh, that people don't bother. They just scrap it, move the cars on and buy themselves something else. So these cars don't get, don't go rusty. They don't get a chance to go rusty because they, they go wrong before they go rusty. And it's just the sheer cost of repairing them that people just scrap them. They don't bother doing anything with them. Um, but yeah, I can remember as a um, youngster going down the scrapyard, getting bits for my cars, and you used to be able to walk around the scrapyard with your toolbox and take all your bits off and go and see the, uh, the um, owner and pay up for all the bits you'd taken off the cars. Now, I don't know that they'd let you do that anymore, but that's what they used to do back in the day when I used to go to the scrapyards. And sometimes I'd find cars in the scrapyard that were in better condition than the car I've got. <laughs> oh dear, sign of the times, eh? Uh, one of the garages I worked at, I called that an end of life garage. And that one I got quite depressed with in the end because all the cars there were really old cars and people were just keeping them going. It's like ticking over. They'd bring them down for an MOT and I'd look at them or one of the other blokes would look at them and you'd see what needed to be done. Now the customers would usually do just the bare minimum to get another 12 months ticket on the cars. So that's what I, why I called it an end of life garage because the cars were coming to the end of their life. And if that, we failed them too badly, uh, they'd usually just buy another old car. They wouldn't buy a nice car, they'd just buy another old, old scrapper and uh, run that again for 12 months. And if it needed repairing at the end of 12 months, if it wasn't too expensive, they'd do it. But if it was too expensive, they used to just scrap them, buy another one, and they just kept buying wreck after wreck. And this garage I worked at, this particular garage, dealt in old cars, and it was quite depressing. <laughs> you know, you didn't, you never got your hands on anything nice. They were just all old cars, all rusty, and yeah, not nice. I was pleased to get out of that. I went back into the main dealerships after that one because it, it, um, it wasn't what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be welding cars up all day long. It wasn't my favourite job. Uh, so yes, I'm, I'm happier in the main dealerships doing the newer cars, not the old rubbish cars. Um, but there, somebody's got to do them. And we haven't all got pots of money to spend on cars, so yeah. 
and some of my subscribers have sent me messages saying that they've got to book their car and have it service done or it's MOT done and it's going to cost X amount. It isn't cheap, is it? It is not cheap. And that's the other thing, if you buy a really, really nice car and something goes wrong with it, you're, you're, you're committed to spending more money on it to keep it on the road because it is a nice car. Whereas if it's an old car and you're not that fussed about it, then you'd probably think twice about it and maybe get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, it's a tricky one. <laughs> do you buy a nice car or do you stick with an old car? Yeah. I think I'll stick with my old car. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'd want to go out and buy a new car. Uh, you lose so much money, man. so much money. Um, right, I've nearly done the washing up, all this waffling. Um, be a normal day tomorrow, so I'm gonna get up as per normal, take the boys out for a nice early walk. Uh, I think it's supposed to be nice again weather-wise tomorrow. I think it's Saturday and Sunday it might change again. I haven't looked to see exactly. But uh, I did look earlier in the week, but it might have changed by now. So I think tomorrow is still supposed to be a fairly nice day, so I hope so. Um, so I'll do the, the usual early morning walk with my boys, and um, then go to work. Then it sounds like I'm gonna be coming halfway back to Bury St Edmunds, and I'll work the rest of the day at Bury, then pack my tools up again and come home from there. And then Monday, I'll be going back to Cambridge again unless things change, but I think that's that's the plan at the moment. Um, so I'll just go with the flow, go where I'm told to go, which is fine by me, I, I enjoy doing that. That's what my job is, that's how my job is supposed to be. I'm supposed to be floating, covering at different garages when people aren't there, and that's exactly what I'm doing tomorrow, I'm covering because somebody's not there. Um, yeah, and that's what I signed up for. Right. I think we've done that one second time round. I less missed a bit on that one. Right, that guys is done. I'll put those in there. That goes there. Uh, I will fill the kettle up for tomorrow morning because I need to. Um, because the water won't be hot. No, it might still be hot tomorrow morning. I'll have a look tomorrow, but I might have to boil the kettle up tomorrow morning for my my shave and my wash. Right, there we go. So, how many of you lot out there have got your heating on now? I'm, obviously I've tried mine, it works lovely. So I've turned it off again now. And I was speaking to one of the fellas at work this morning about heating, because I said I was going to have to try mine this weekend. And he said, oh, he said he's, he's got his on a, a thermostat. And he said it actually just fired itself up. He said it got quite cold the other week. He said and the heating actually flicked on itself. He said, so his heating has been on because it was, it was cold one particular day or night and the heating actually flicked on. So yes, I'm not the only one who's tried the heating. I hope you lot have tried your heating to make sure it works. I'd hate you to get caught. Um, yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> okay, right, back door's done. Put the keys up there. Shut the microwave. Hang my towels up, guys. Right, now I've got to do this shout out list and I haven't forgotten, I've got it on my selfie stick. Right, we'll start off now. The first shout out is to Samantha and Reggie the Pug, okay? <laughs> uh, my second shout out is for Julie uh, for her 31st wedding anniversary today. So, happy anniversary. Um, the third one I can't shout out that because that's for somebody called Emma, and it's a birthday shout out, but not now. So that's gonna stay on the back burner, but I have asked Emma to remind me nearer the time, because it's about another week away. So I've asked her just to remind me, but I will keep it on my list. I'll try not to lose the note. <laughs> I'll put it on my fridge so I don't lose it. And the next shout out is to Kelly, uh, who like me loves Christmas music. <laughs> I told you I got in trouble at work for playing the Christmas music, didn't I? Yeah, they, they thought it was a little bit too early. <laughs> I do love my Christmas music. Gets me in the mood. And finally, the final shout out is a happy birthday shout out to Richard from Felixstowe. Uh, so, happy birthday, Richard. <laughs> and Felixstowe isn't so far away from me, actually. It's fairly close, the other side of Ipswich. And I do sometimes work in Ipswich. So, yeah, it's a happy birthday, Richard. Right, that's it, guys. Let's put the towel away. Here we go. Oh, that's 
done. Right, just fill the kettle up and just put some fresh in there for tomorrow. Like I said, I might not I might not need to boil it, depends if I've still got hot water in the hot water tank tomorrow. It might still be hot. It usually holds it for a, about a day or so and then it goes cold again. Right, there we go. That's perfect. Right, kettle's ready for the morning. Dogs are tucked up, back door's locked. I will turn the music on before we go up. I'll just pop this um, shout out for Emma on the fridge. Hopefully she will remind me, guys. <laughs> right. right, there we go. Right, leave my pig down here. We're going to turn the radio on for my boys. Good night, guys. Sleep tight, fellas. I'll see you in the morning. Right, radio's on. That's out. Just to rearrange this duvet, because Snoop jumped up on the sofa and pulled all the duvet down again. That's better. Looks a bit neater. I hoovered it all up and then he jumped on the sofa. That's my, that's my Manta. My Manta GTE. That one there. That was two years old when I got that one. Uh, 27,000 miles. Why do I remember that? I don't know. There was my first car, my little Mini. Little 850 Mini. <laughs> car number one. I bought that in 1978, guys. Uh, that one's just a Vauxhall Magnum. If anybody knows what one of those is. And the last one on this wall was a Cavalier Coupe. Very much like the Manta GTE, but it was a, a Vauxhall version before they brought out the, uh, the Manta over there. And that's it. Right, come on, let's go upstairs. Right, I'll turn the lights on again. So that one and that one on. That one off. Right, just pull that door to. We'll make sure the uh, front room light's out. Yes, that's all out. Oh, right, should we go upstairs? I'll just extend my selfie stick, guys. Here we go, and that one off. Here we go. Right, bedtime, guys. Uh, somebody was on about how they loved Christmas and they couldn't wait to get their Christmas tree out. <laughs> and I said, I haven't even got a Christmas tree. That's something I'm going to have to treat myself to. Yeah, need a Christmas tree, Christmas decorations. I haven't got any, nothing. So that's something I'm going to have to go and get. Right, let's put the camera up on the stand for you guys. Oh, it's still quite warm up here, actually. Still don't want to get in change, though. <laughs> I'm so cosy, so warm. There you go. Is that okay? Lovely. Right, off comes the jewellery. It's been a good day. It's gone really quick today as well. Absolutely flown. Right, oh, as you can see my breast form, look. There you go. <laughs> and there we go. Ooh. Right, there we go. Jewelry's off, just the ring to go, guys. I've got my nighty already. Got that hanging on the door. There we go. Let's just put these away. That's it, I'm going to bed, I'm going to put this on straight away, time wise, it's 10.37, so I'm going to put this on now, this very minute, and hopefully you'll get it before you go to bed, <laughs> and I will put a music video on for you tomorrow morning, I'll find a couple of other old videos to put on for you as well guys, so you've got something else to watch, and I shall speak to you tomorrow evening, okay, bye bye for now.